Hello, my sweet goats. Welcome to another video. Look, a couple of months ago, my buddy Grande had this little competition between him and another memer named Dolan Dark. I'm pretty sure you guys all know who Dolan Dark is. And they were all trying to find out who was going to be the general of the meme force, right? And uh, it, it, it came down to a bit of a tie, at which point everyone kind of won. And then I got Minister of Beards, which is which was just great. It was just a, an amazing honor. Just re really, I it really touched me. To know that Grande thought of me in that way, he wanted me to—he wanted me to represent something in his meme force. But I haven't really been fulfilling my end of the bargain. I haven't been really, you know, uh, doing as much as Minister of Beards. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I put a dent in that by reviewing beards. So this here is a beard review. But before I get into it, I just wanted to kind of draw your attention to two things. The first thing is that this shirt doesn't belong to me. I'm not saying that this shirt doesn't belong to me because it's a Kanye shirt and Kanye was, you know, hanging out with Trump or anything like that. I'm really just saying it because I don't really listen to Kanye and I don't want to come off as a poser. Literally, someone gave me this shirt. They were like, hey, do you want to like wear this for a little bit? You look good in it. And I was like, all right, I'll put it on. It's not a big deal. Uh, and then I dropped uh, a bit of uh, my latte on it. All right. So I'm not really lactating. It's just a couple of spots over here, but I wanted to play a game with you. The game is don't look at these spots. If you look at these spots, you fucking lose. All right. And I know, I know you're not a loser. I know you don't want to lose. So don't look at these spots throughout the entirety of the video. Do not look at them. Don't look at them. All right. Look everywhere else but these spots and you are a guaranteed winner. All right. Let's go ahead and just get right into these uh, these submissions here. I asked people on Twitter to send me pics of shitty beards and you guys delivered. You guys, you guys always deliver. You sweet goats. You guys are just wonderful. You guys really know how to hook it up. So the first one is actually a submission from some guy named John Cezino. He says, can't because my beard is magnificent. And then he sends me this picture. And look, I gotta admit, John, you got a nice beard. It's very thick, but I feel like maybe you gotta... I don't know, you gotta let maybe just just trim it a little bit. Just make sure that the sides are a little bit more tame. You know, it's got a bit more shape to it. I feel like you can look quite fierce. You could really rock the lumberjack look. I really feel like you can do it. So maybe next time you visit the barber, you could be like, hey, look, can I add a little bit more shape to my beard? And they'll hook it right up. I gotta say, man. You gotta work on your beard a bit, bro. You really do. You gotta fucking tame that shit. You gotta make it a little bit more shaped. You got some good shape going on there. Maybe grow a li little bit more hair on the top of your head. Do something cool with it. Trust me, if you had longer hair on your head, mm, it would look real good. The ratios are all fucked up here, bro. They really are. I, I feel like you really need to trim down your beard a bit or grow out your hair. Do one or the other, okay? Uh, all I'm saying is that you gotta shape it up and you, I, I, you, you, got the, you got the thickness. It's all there. You have it. You really do. I believe in you. Ricky Berwick sent me his fucking chin, and, and that's just a terrible thing to look at. Ricky's chin looks like this. If I decide to shave my pubes off and then take a glue stick, you know one of those like glue sticks that you used to have at elementary school, you used to kind of just to play with cardboard and shit like that? If I took that glue stick and I rubbed it up against my balls and then attached my pubes that I just shaved onto that and then rubbed my balls across his chin, that's exactly what you'd get. You'd get Ricky Berwick's current chin right now. Ricky, stop it. Don't ever fucking show me that disgusting monstrosity again okay get that the fuck out of here okay you gremlin fuck now this guy i don't know who this guy is i don't know if this is real this guy's a weird dude he looks like a he's like this is the jimmy neutron type dude with a beard he's so weird man there's no way this is real this has to be photoshopped they had to have thinned his face a little bit and fucked with the hair it just doesn't seem real it really doesn't seem real i don't know how anyone would think this is a good look so ghosty sent me this picture of keemstar and this is like an older picture of keemstar and i can understand this being a really shitty beard this is really terrible it's got like two points to it but i feel like keemstar's beard has improved drastically over the last year it's almost as if he took a picture of me and went over to his barber and said please this guy's fucking me up on YouTube. Everybody likes his beard more than they like mine. Can we please fix my beard? Can we please make it look a little bit more like this guy's? And they did it. And now he has a nicer beard and that's great. I'm happy for him. Someone sent me PewDiePie's beard. I don't know why you'd do that. That's a nice beard. Maybe he's got to maybe trim the top there. The top of his lip. He's got that. He's got those really long hairs hanging over his, his lips. And that can't be a good thing to kiss. Now, I would kiss PewDiePie. But, I mean... I don't know, I just feel like maybe Marzia doesn't really like those little, those little danglers there. So Tree6 Mafia sent me this picture of himself, uh, and he says, Before I got it trimmed, and he's crying, and I looked at this photo and I'm just thinking, I'm so glad you got it trimmed. This is... <laughs> It's really good that you got it trimmed. I hope that it looks much better than whatever the fuck was going on here, bro. I don't know what you were thinking when you decided you were just going to grow out the bottom and let it just go free. You need to take care of your beards, guys. You need to make sure that they are orderly. You need to make sure that they look neat. They need to look a little bit neat. You can have them bushy and big, but you gotta like trim it up a bit. Come on, come on, please. 
please. So this uh, guy named Jay Ditto sent me this picture of himself, I believe, and he's got a pretty basic, like, goatee. Just looks like some, you honestly look like some fucking guy that works in the IT department at, 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 at an insurance firm. Uh, I really don't have anything to say to this about this beard. It's very run-of-the-mill, very normal facial hair for a nerd. <laughs> Sorry. Myers sent me this. He says, isn't it gross? And I, it's just a picture of some dirty ass bum fluff directly on someone's face with the, you know, the, 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 the hair that grows out when you're just too lazy to shave uh, on the, on the cheeks. And I'm just not really too impressed with that. That's really fucked up. I don't really like that. That's something that I would ban. If I, if I had the ability to ban facial hair styles, this would be one of them to ban. If you, if you, if you're too lazy to fucking shave your face, man, when, when it needs to be shaved, it's a problem going on there. There's a real problem. Did you really just call me a sand creature, you dirty fuck? Look at your shit beard. Look at it. It's fucking disgusting. I'm not going to cherish it. I'd take a dump on your beard if I saw you. If I ever see you in public, if I ever see you at VidCon or any other con that I go to and you walk up to me, get ready to get pooped on because I'm going to poop on that fucking chin of yours. Maybe it'll help you grow your beard a bit. I'm just kidding. I love you. Thank you so much for submitting that. Ugh, non-hinge sent me this. What is that? Get rid of that from here. Get out of here. That's gross, dude. Honestly, straight up looks like, looks like... If, if I didn't shave my pubes for a really, really long time, okay, and I didn't, and I let my gooch really, really grow out, that's exactly what it would look like. Disgusting, bro. Get rid of that shit or fix it. Do something about it, man. Grow in those sides if you can grow them in, all right? Do something. I don't know. Propecia or something. I don't know what the fuck you can do. Just do something about it. Seriously, it's disgusting. Don't ever show me that again. Jason Lloyd says, here's mine. You be the judge, bro. And honestly, it's not that bad, dude. Jason, this is, this is pretty nice, bro. This really is. It's not a bad beard to have. I mean, you could, I feel like you could do a lot more with it. You could, like, I mean, for example, grow in the mustache. I think you should definitely grow in the mustache. And you could grow it out a little bit more. It's really cool. You got the right shape. All right, you just got to trim it up a little bit. You're good. You're good. I like, even like the, the white hairs. They make it look good. They make you look a little bit more uh, like you're, like you're, you're battle-worn. You know, like you've, like you've seen some shit. I respect that. I respect your look, dude. It's good, Jason. Uh, Jordan, you know, we, we've been mutuals for a while now. This guy's a real swell dude. Uh, but he just sent me this photo of himself uh, looking like a complete shav. I don't know if you guys know what a shav is. A shav is like a, a British douchebag. And that's exactly what he looks like in this photo. A British douchebag. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's all for the first beard review, okay? Uh, if you guys want more of these, please let me know. Let me know if you want another beard review in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to go ahead and give it a like. Of course, go ahead and share this video with a friend. It would be really fucking fantastic. Of course, do the usual. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you stay notified by hitting the bell icon. I will see you for my next video next week. I love you. Have a good one. Bye.